So check out this press release from Facebook. That's right. Smart glasses are here that basically hey. look the same. Oh no, there's music. Oh, awful. See you later. Smart glasses are here that basically look like regular old fashionable frames, which is really cool if you're into wearing smart glasses and kind of terrifying if you're into not wearing smart glasses, but being anywhere near someone who happens to be wearing smart glasses, like, oh, say, for example, a bathroom. So they start at $2.99, which is kind of crazy to me because Essler, Luxottica, and Facebook, this must be, this must be that Facebook um, subsidy money. You know how the Oculus Quest 2 is like, by hundreds of dollars, the best value VR headset on the market? by a country mile, like not even close. Well, that's the Facebook subsidy money that is making it so affordable. And Esler Luxottica is not exactly known for, um, no, no, you know, they're, they're, they're very happy to have their, uh, their monopoly. I was, I was going to make a joke. If I opened this topic, I was planning on making a joke with, uh, Facebook and the only company that makes sunglasses have teamed up to make <laughs> great fan story sunglasses. Pretty much. Um, so if this is coming in at two ninety nine with dual five megapixel cameras that can record video and photos from this first person perspective, you can bet that Facebook is subsidizing the crap out of it because they are expecting some kind of real awesome data. Now, video recording is capped at thirty seconds to address privacy concerns, uh, but the quality is a square eleven eighty four. Uh, at 30 frames per second. So that's 1184 by 1184. They have four gigs of storage, meaning that you could restore, you could record probably a fair number Quite of 1184 yeah. 30p clips. Um, but mostly videos and photos are managed and stored in a separate Facebook View app. The sunglasses include a triple microphone system for audio recording, phone calls, and Facebook Assistant, which I actually did not even know they had. And there are speakers in the arms for audio playback. These are not headphones or bone conduction. They are speakers. <sighs> the selling point is they're comfortable, fashionable, and lightweight, just like normal sunglasses, and make basically every other smart glasses we've seen so far look kind of bulky and stupid. But that also makes it hard to tell that they are video and audio recording devices. And... You might think, oh, well, whatever, it's in the news. Everyone's just going to know that Facebook sunglasses are a thing. And, you know, if you're wearing sunglasses inside, they'll just be like, oh, yeah, those are Facebook glasses. I can I can see the lens through the thing. But you got to understand, not everybody, you know, consumes tech news. And not every way that these could be used to covertly record someone um, would be that obvious. Say, for not example, everyone consumes tech news. I know, right? They should. They should. Not everyone sees the quick bits. You need your daily dose of tech news, okay? Go to TechLink <laughs> three times a week. Um, <laughs> so what if they're not wearing them, right? What if they throw them in a in an upper pocket and just, you know, part of it is sticking up out of the pocket or they throw the arm over mm -hmm. the pocket kind of thing and it's hanging on the front of them. You You wouldn't necessarily look that closely at that. You might not realize that you are being recorded. Um, yeah, and they have they have a little light. Um, yeah, but the I mean, lights can... bands, you I'll... can just like sharpie over the light, or yeah. like put electrical tape on it or something. Like I don't know. Yeah, it's interesting. Now, uh, Facebook says that um, to address privacy concerns. Um, they worked with a list of advocacy groups that they consulted when they were developing the glasses. Um, but New York Times reporter Ryan Mack noted that Facebook has actually funded at least four out of these five groups that they said they consulted. At least. At least. It might be all five. <laughs> it could be all five. Just for all at we least know. four. Oh, my goodness. I mean, to be honest with you, the i the the um the prospect of being able to record truly first person view footage is really exciting to me as a as a content creator 
Um, one of the times that I did it was the uh, POV PC build. Uh, this video right here. Something just while so, you're bringing that up, something that I would say is is yeah. however you feel about this, and say these get banned by the government, like they they never even come out, so your opinions don't even matter. Basically, never assume privacy. That would be a, a big tip. Yeah, right never now. pick your nose in your car ever again. Um, yep. So right, so what's so cool about this video is that instead of having the webcam on top of my head like people would normally mount them if they had any sense. Uh, it was actually the webcam, excuse me, GoPro. It was actually mounted to a headband and then upside down. So the camera was right in front of my eyes. And that's why compared to when people wear like a helmet mounted GoPro, it looks and feels way more natural. Just that few inches, but just that few inches, having the lens closer to where your eyes would actually be makes an enormous difference to um the consumption of of this type of content so man i could i could see all i could see all kinds of things being um way more shareable um ex like experiences uh with this technology i just i have i have deep concerns honestly not even the video so much like the audio too just being able to, if it's got a three microphone array, I am willing to bet, especially based on what Facebook, like the kind of uh, R&D that they've been doing around uh, audio for VR, for example, I am willing to bet this microphone is pretty darn good for something that be, can be concealed on your body in a way that most average people would never notice. <sighs> yeah. All right. Yeah, uh, I know when uh, when Google Glass came out, there was a special name for people that wore them. Glass holes. Uh, which you didn't even use the button. Oh, well, I didn't say a bad word. Glass is, is not, not a, a bad word, and holes is not a bad word. Therefore, a compound word made up of those two words, glass holes, cannot be a bad word. Fair. Yeah. Easy. Solved. Um, that was a big thing. People like really, really stood up against it. Yeah. Haven't seen that this time around. I think there's been a lot of desensitization to this type of stuff lately. Um, and it just, yeah, I think this one might make it through. <laughs> Float plane chat is just going on about porn. Uh, John Wick says it could be useful as a dash cam for riding a bike. Unfortunately not because it is limited to 30 second clips at a time. Uh, John says, I'd be way more okay with this if literally anyone else made it besides Facebook. But should you be? I mean, would it be any better having people but just be able to... have access to it in some way, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, man. There's, there's so much. Uh, QWERTY Sam says the arguments against these glasses are no different than phones. You know, you could already secretly record anyone That's you want true. with your phone. It's, it is more difficult. Uh, and someone, someone brought this up. Uh, Punit said, I've seen some disgusting stuff here in city. I'm not going to name a particular city, but I've seen a guy filming a girl from behind on a flight of stairs in public. Like if people could do it without pulling out their phone. <sighs> yeah, I, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh, uh, good point. Uh, the Mad Maker says hackers can already make them. Yeah, that's fair, but they wouldn't be as, no offense, stylish and innocuous. 